Hey, can you just briefly talk about when you go into the bottom and how you and I talked about moving our hips in the bottom with a weighted load on your back? Like what improvements have you seen? What benefit? Stuff like that since you started doing that? Sure. All right. Do you guys understand how your posterior chain works? Do you guys know what your posterior chain is? Your posterior chain is from the back of your Achilles tendon all the way up your entire back. It's called your posterior chain. More specifically, your hamstrings, your glutes, your erectors, and your low back. So everything that goes here. And the purpose of your posterior chain is that hip hinge. So have you ever noticed, it's weird, I can work out my hamstrings like this, okay? But I can also work out my hamstrings like this. And depending upon how much I bend my knees, AKA take my hamstrings out of the movement, I introduce glute. So if I bend more here, I start using glute. Once my glutes have reached maximum mobility, that's when I start using my lower back. He's playing too. And so why am I sharing this with you? Who here has experienced lower back pain when doing squats? The reason for that is because you are not using your quads, you're using your erectors. Here's why. So when I do a squat, most guys, they do this number. Does that look familiar? It feels like you're doing this sit down movement. <laughs> Without my hands up here, what you're doing is you're doing this number. Yes, you'll feel it in your quads, but notice how when you do it like that, you feel your hamstrings stretch all the way out. You feel your lower back. That's not how you're supposed to squat. What we're doing is we're dropping our hips into the pocket that they're made to go in. So really quickly, let me show you what the hip looks like. So you see, this is your spine, okay, going up here on the side. So this is the back. This is your butthole right here. Okay, right here at the bottom of your, your tailbone. This is your hip. This is where your head, the head of your femur goes in. Your hip is actually tilted at like 30 degrees outwards. This is where my femur is going in. It's going in the front here. So look, my hip is designed to do this, this 90 degrees. When I squat, we're not sitting. We're dropping our hips into that pocket. So down here, see, squat down in. So I'll show you what that looks like from the side. Here. The reason I'm able to put an immense amount of fucking weight on my shoulders and sit like this is because this is a relaxed position. I could sit here all day. If I sit like this, this is not a relaxed position. I'm using my quads and my hams to stay in this position here. So I'm able to drop all the way down into the bottom of the squat because I'm dropping in that pocket between my feet instead of trying to sit. That's going to make a huge difference in how you perform during the squat and how you perform during the deadlift. When I squat... My toes are pointed out to a 45, for me, even a little bit more, okay? And I drop here. When I deadlift, the way that I introduce my hamstrings into that movement is simply by moving my toes in. If you guys ever watch me deadlift, I'm starting here. I put my feet just like this. I still drop my hips the same way, but I go here, boom. The further I bring my toes in, and the more I sit instead of drop in that pocket, the more posterior chain you're introducing to stabilize that movement on the way down and also using it to go up. I have arthritis in my left knee. You have arthritis in your left knee because you don't squat like that, because you haven't strengthened your quads. This part of your quad right here is the part of your quad that keeps your knee safe. If this is weak, your entire knee is going to struggle. The best thing that you can do for your knees is learn how to squat the way that I just taught you. The best thing that you can do for your lower back, learn how to squat like I just showed you. It's challenging. 
once you shift that mindset and realize I'm not sitting, I'm taking this. So this is my pelvis and I'm sending my pelvis here. James says shitting between the heels. 